when someone who's an overhead athlete is is throwing a ball or a javelin or swinging a tennis racket uh, repetitively over and over again, they're they're bringing their arm back into this abducted, externally rotated position, and they keep reaching farther and farther back, uh, and they're trying to rear back and throw harder and throw faster. And in doing so, uh, the the shoulder joint gets stretched in the front. Uh, and so you stretch the anterior capsule and anterior ligaments. Uh, and the shoulder only has a certain arc of motion. So when you do this and stretch out the front of the shoulder, by necessity, the back of the shoulder becomes tighter. So what was a normal arc of motion now becomes shifted towards the back as you can rear back farther and farther. However, you lose the internal rotation. You can't come forward as much. And this can create a problem and is something that can lead to labral tears. Not everyone who has a labral tear definitely needs surgery, uh, particularly when we're talking about these superior labral tears. Generally, the, the indications for surgery are, are going towards younger and younger patients, where uh, someone over the age of 35 to 40, you really probably don't want to repair a, a labral tear because as you age, uh, naturally the labral begins to separate from the bone. So if you did an MRR, arthrogram, or even arthroscopic surgery in someone, say, in their 50s, you would not be surprised to see the labrum separated from the bone, and it's not an abnormal condition, and so you wouldn't want to fix that. Whereas if you had someone in their teens, you know, who was a baseball player, and you put the camera into their shoulder joint and saw a separation of the labrum from the bone, that's something that you may be more likely to want to fix.